He's arguably the most famous motorcycle rider that ever lived. The youngest rider ever to win the series. 199 Lives is the story about a kid who defies the impossible over and over again. And you look at his dad, who's a crazy ex-Marine, and you start to understand who Travis is. After I met Robert, a lot of things about Travis made sense. Travis really might be the biggest idiot I know. I didn't bother getting out of the truck. I didn't think there was a chance that either two of them were alive. That car crash was the worst day of my life. Police officers estimated his speed at the impact of the tree of being 130 miles an hour. He made a, a huge mistake. Blood squirting out of his head. If I just paralyze this guy, I don't know if I can live with myself. I've never been around somebody that just gets beat up and just gets back up. He just comes up swinging every time. You figure, how can somebody survive that hit? Just gets punished by the motorcycle. That drive to come back from an injury is what sets you apart and what makes you one of the top competitors. Every time before he rides, I get scared to death. But that's Travis. Hands down, that's the best athlete on the planet. I don't care who you are. You'll find these moments and these, this sketchy terrain, this real sketchy mental terrain where he's really happy. And he lives for the moment, so I think he pushes himself to see how far he can actually go. Pastrana flipping out of the game. He is and always has been prepared to hurt himself or kill himself to have a good time. For some reason, I don't make it to the bottom, I die happy. Travis Pastrana flipping everything. He's all about the right now and right here and just making the most of every second. Take a look at number 199, Travis Pastrana. It's so trippy how his mind works. That was a hell of a ride. No matter what it is he does, he has to push himself beyond what he knows his limits are. Here comes Pastrana! He's without doubt the best thing that ever happened to me in my entire life. I'm sure gonna miss him when he kills himself, but it's been a hell of a ride, Travis.